Hi, I'm John Accardo, Senior Applications Engineer for Siemens Clamp-On Form Meter Products. And this is the Citrans FUG 1010 Clamp-On Ultrasonic Flow Meter for Gas Flow Measurement. In this video, I'll show you how to program and install your FUG 1010 on your pipe and initiate operation. This video is part one of a series which also includes a volume on gas compensation for standard volume flow measurement. The FUG 1010 is most commonly supplied as a dual path system utilizing two pairs of sensors for optimal flow measurement accuracy. It is also available in single path and quad path configurations. It is designed for measurement of pipes from 2 inches to 48 inches diameter. The primary application for the FUG 1010 is natural gas. However, it is fully capable of measuring single component noble gases as well. Like all Siemens clamp-on flow meters, commissioning requires just a few programming steps prior to installation of the flow sensors. Let's begin by pressing the menu key to access the program menu. From here, just two presses of the right arrow key will give you access to the full program menu. Start your programming by creating a site name for your measurement. Press the right arrow, then the down arrow to access the Create Site menu cell. Press the right arrow to enable editing, then enter a site name. Press the Enter key to complete the operation and the left arrow to return to the main menu screen. We now need to enter the pipe dimensional information. Access the pipe data menu, then press the right arrow. Here you can program the required information about your pipe. The data required is the outside diameter, the pipe material, and the wall thickness. Each pipe parameter can be entered individually or you can utilize the built-in pipe tables included for many common pipe sizes. Choosing one of the pre-configured pipe sizes automatically populates the required fields. The FUG 1010 meter utilizes a mandatory pipe dampening film that is applied to the outer surface of your pipe prior to installation of the flow sensors. Depending on your sensor size, multiple layers may be necessary. Information on the required number of layers and their thickness is supplied in the document CC129A-7 included with the sensor package. The specified thickness required for your sensor size must be programmed in the CC129 thickness menu location. The Citrans FUG 1010 is designed to operate on natural gas pipelines. The FUG 1010's gas data menu is therefore pre-configured for natural gas flow measurement and the values should be perfectly adequate for most applications. In part two of this video series, we will cover gas parameter settings and standard volume measurement in detail. For now, we may proceed with the commissioning of the meter by advancing directly to the install sensor menu. The install sensor menu addresses the last remaining information needed prior to sensor installation and meter startup. Here we will program the sensor model, size, and mounting mode with assistance from the FUG 1010 itself. Once complete, the meter will identify the correct spacing position for the installation of the flow sensors. In this section of the menu, you must program the sensor information for each path independently. Begin by looking at the label of the sensors supplied with your FUG 1010 meter. The label identifies the sensor type, its size, and its temperature range. Virtually all FUG 1010 applications utilize high precision sensors. Only pipes with wall thicknesses above one inch will use universal sensors. In the sensor model menu, enter the type of sensor you have. When selecting high precision, choose by temperature range. Next, you will program the sensor size. Note that the FUG 1010 actually recommends the correct size sensor based on the pipe information you entered earlier. The recommended size should match the sensors you were supplied. The last step is to enter the sensor mounting method you will use. Once again, the FUG 1010 recommends the preferred method which will be either reflect, 
or direct. Reflect is the preferred method for most applications. Many applications utilize frame mounts for sensor installations. For more robust mounting in harsh environments, Siemens also offers the high precision mount system. The FUG 1010 offers two additional mounting modes known as Reflect 4-Pass and Direct 3-Pass. Selection of these methods is at the discretion of the end user. The gas tool found in Siemens' free software utility, Cyware, will identify applications benefiting from these mounting methods. It is recommended to utilize the Reflect 4-Pass method on small pipe sizes 6 inch or less. The increased spacing and double bounce sonic transmission method provide increased flow stream averaging and improved noise immunity on these smaller pipe sizes. Once you've selected a mounting mode, the FUG 1010 will calculate the required sensor spacing based on all your program entries. Note this number index for use as you mount the sensors. Now it's time to install the sensors on the pipe. Try to mount the sensors in a location that supports good flow profile characteristics. You can ensure this by choosing a location with sufficient straight run of pipe. On gas pipelines, this is generally assured where a minimum of 20 diameters of straight pipe is available upstream of the sensors. Once you have selected a location, inspect your pipe surface for any rust, corrosion, or peeling paint. These should be cleaned up with the provided sanding block. It is not necessary to remove well-bonded paint. Now degrease the pipe using a solvent that dries without a residue. This is necessary for proper adhesion of the pipe damping film. Before installing the sensors, you must first apply the damping film to the pipe exterior that we referenced earlier. Your installation manual has detailed drawings covering the various sensor mounting configurations. This information will help you to determine the positioning of the damping film. To install the damping film, peel a small amount of the backing paper away from one corner and slowly smooth the damping film to the pipe surface as you peel away the paper. Try to avoid creating bubbles or stretching the film. Use the supplied wooden roller to firmly bond the film to the pipe surface. If you're left with any small bubbles, just pierce them with a knife and squeeze out the air. Repeat with additional layers if required. On small diameter pipes, it may be easier to install the damping film around the pipe's circumference instead of along its axis. The flow sensors will be installed directly on top of the damping film. Repeat this procedure for the second sensor path 90 degrees apart from path 1. Next, attach your sensor cables between the installed sensors and the FUG 1010. Be sure to note the upstream versus downstream positions of the sensors when connecting your cables. Lastly, if you're not supplying a temperature input to the flow meter, you'll need to mount the clamp-on temperature sensor on the pipe adjacent to the flow sensors. The RTD should be properly insulated to prevent ambient air temperature influence. We are now ready to initiate meter operation. Before doing so, ensure that the pipe is pressurized to at least 7 bar or 100 PSI. It is equally acceptable to be flowing or at zero so long as the pipe has sufficient pressure. To initiate operation, return to the install sensor program screen we left earlier. Move the cursor to the install complete menu cell and select install. Before we press enter, let's review our setup. Be sure of the following. The program pipe diameter and wall thickness are correct. The program sensor model and size match the installed sensors. The sensors are at the spacing positions specified by the meter. The sensor cables are connected with respect to upstream downstream positioning. The pipe is properly pressurized. If we now select the command install and press enter, the meter will begin a process called the initial makeup to establish operation. This routine verifies the sensor signal to establish best operational parameters for your pipe. 
During this process, the meter will determine the optimal sensor frequency represented by the incrementing drive numbers. Then it will complete its setup by configuring its internal settings shown by the advancing bar graph. At the completion of the initial makeup, the meter will publish the measured sonic velocity of your gas in feet per second. This should match the theoretical value for the gas composition. Simply press the down arrow to continue. If your sensors are mounted in reflect mode, the meter will now automatically zero itself. The path one sensor startup is now complete. Return to the top of the sensor install menu. Select path two and program the same as path one. Once again, access the install complete menu cell, select install and complete the initial makeup process and zeroing. Now with both paths installed, the meter is ready for operation. Press the menu key to exit to the flow display screen. Before you can see flow readings, the meter will prompt you to save your site programming. Doing so will provide a backup of your configured site for future use or recovery. Just press the right arrow and enter to save the site and exit to the flow display screen. Your display screen can be configured to show the system averaged flow indication for the individual path flows. You can easily scroll through the available configurations using the up or down arrow key. You can also change the volume or time base to indicate the units of your choice. You have now achieved a fundamental level of meter operation. If desired, you can implement additional menu features including analog and digital outputs, data logging, status alarms, and data filtering to customize the performance of the meter to your application requirements. Detailed information on all the available capabilities of your FUG 1010 flow meter can be found in the installation manual. Be sure to watch part two of this video series for detailed information on configuring the gas compensation menu. Of course, help is always available by contacting the Siemens Technical Support Hotline or your local Siemens representative. Thank you for your attention. We at Siemens sincerely hope that this presentation has demonstrated the ease in which you can install and commission your Citrans FUG 1010 flow meter.